continuously increasing demands on the vehicle electrical system in vehicles, are increasing the demands placed on energy management. For this reason, vehicles with start-stop systems are fitted with starters with a reinforced structure for frequent starting processes, and highly efficient alternators with freewheel gearboxes. Before starting service work on the alternator, a visual inspection of the components and peripheral parts of the starting charging system in the engine compartment should be carried out. In this example, these are, the battery with the IBS sensor, which is connected to the negative terminal, and monitors the battery condition. The engine control unit, which sends the desired charging voltage to the alternator regulator. The battery control unit, which regulates the auxiliary supply of the vehicle electrical system through the secondary battery when the engine is switched off, and, at the same time, prevents the two batteries from draining each other. The alternator with overrunning alternator pulley, generates an excess of electrical energy for the vehicle electrical system, even at a low speed range. The starter is optimized for frequent starting processes with a reinforced structure, and is designed for an increased number of starting cycles. Before starting the alternator test, the batteries should be tested first. For this purpose, all electrical consumers on the vehicle must be switched off, the charge condition, or the open circuit voltage of the starter battery, is measured directly at the battery poles. The set point for the battery voltage is between 12.4 and 13.2 volts. In this case the measured value is OK. If the voltage value is lower than 12.4 volts, the battery should be charged, retested and replaced if necessary. The open circuit voltage of the secondary battery is then measured in the same sequence. Here too, the measured actual value is within the specified set point and is therefore OK. In order to better assess the overall condition of the batteries, the starter and secondary batteries should be tested with a suitable battery tester, such as the BPC tool. The alternator test starts with a visual inspection of the electrical connections. The charge controller of the alternator communicates via a LIN interface with a higher level control unit. The regulation takes place via the aforementioned engine control unit. The data signal can be displayed using the oscilloscope function of the diagnostic unit. To test the alternator voltage supply, all consumers must be switched off. The red terminal is connected to the alternator terminal B+, the black terminal to the housing ground. The measured value of the open circuit voltage of the alternator should correspond to the value of the battery voltage. A maximum deviation of 0.5 volts is permissible here. To test the alternator charging voltage, and charging current, a current clamp is placed as close as possible to the alternator connection B+. When the engine is started, the vehicle electrical system is loaded with approximately 40 amps by switching on several electrical consumers. This load is achieved, for example, by switching on the low beam headlamp, the heated rear window, the interior blower and the air conditioning system. The engine speed must now be increased to approximately 2000 to 2500 revolutions per minute when idling. The control voltage must not fall more than 0.5 volts below the set point, and the amperage should be higher than the total current consumption. In this example, the measured values are OK. When testing the alternator with the diagnostic unit, different functions can be called up depending on the vehicle manufacturer and system. Any faults that occur in the charging system are recorded and stored in the engine control unit, and in the central electronics module, and can be read out accordingly. Many vehicle systems provide digital measured values in the form of parameters for fast diagnosis, which display the current condition or set point and actual values of the component. The parameters battery voltage and electric current alternator of the engine control unit show no abnormalities in this case. After selecting the central electronics module, various parameters are available for selection. In this example, information about the IBS sensor and the charge condition of the battery, amongst other things, is called up. This information can be monitored while the engine is running and used for troubleshooting.